Hey guys. So today I was on the Nostalgia Critic set. Action. Oh, oh. <gasps> <gasps> but all that stuff will come out later, and this vlog isn't going to be about that. This is going to be five tips for shooting music videos. Step one. Make a four count. You're going to be filming your music video if you're going to be doing it with multiple shots. You're going to be playing along to the track, so you're going to need to know when it starts. So for me, instead of a traditional four count, which will just be four counts, click, 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 go before the song starts, what I'll do is I'll take, here's the regular song, this is what's going to be in the music video. I'll take the first measure of that and slap it onto the front so that it ends right on the first note of the beginning of the song, and I'll also put the volume down. Then I'll add some track, or I'll add some extra space at the beginning, just so that you can press record and get ready to go, and the cameraman or whatever can get in place. And then it starts here, you're the first measure, which gets you into the groove of the song, and then bam, you start right there when the loudness kicks in. Tip two, if you're recording a loud rock band or anything with drums, you're going to want to tape the cymbals, and the inside of the drum kit. Drums are extremely loud, and unless you have a super, super powerful PA system, um, which is could be kind of dangerous if you don't have ear protection to play over the drums, you're going to want to tape them. But tape, towels, whatever, underneath the cymbals, loosen the drum heads maybe. Actually, I take that back. Don't loosen it. Loosen it to take it off. Put towels in it that you won't see in the video. Um, so that when you're playing the drums won't be so loud. They don't need to sound good when you're recording obviously because all that audio is going to be the pre-recorded thing anyway and that way the drums won't be so loud you'll be able to hear the track people will stay on time. Tip 3. Get crafty. Camera stabilizers can be super duper flooper expensive but with a little bit of PVC pipe and maybe some longboard wheels you can make an excellent dolly with a little bit of wood you can make a guitar cam or you can make a shoulder mount, anything to get a steadier, better shot. And have fun with it and save some money. You never know what'll come out of a bit of PVC pipe and a trip to the Home Depot. Here's an annotation to a video about my homemade dolly track. I've been using it for years. Used it today. I think it was, in the video it says 50 bucks, I think it was actually like 70. Tip four, and this is more of just a general photography tip and something I continue to learn again and again. If your shot sucks, try getting closer. Usually that fixes the problem. A lot of the times I'll look through the viewfinder and just think, this isn't that interesting. And you just need to get closer to your subject. It makes a more intimate, a little bit more mysterious shot where you're not giving everything away. You're just focusing on one thing. And uh, it can really save the day sometimes. Tip five, and my last little tip for this video. If you're gonna be shooting with other people, you're gonna want them to be loose, having fun, getting your great footage, and not being worried or scared or uncomfortable in front of the camera. Great thing to do to get rid of that, and this is a big tip and seems silly, is buy them food. Before the shoot, get some stuff to the set, bring it there and be like, hey, I got everyone donuts or bagels or whatever it is. And those $10 of bagels is gonna make your actors go, or musicians in this case, like, Oh wow, this is fancy. I'm getting free stuff. I'm having a good time. This shoot's gonna be great, and then they're gonna get you great footage. So that is my five tips for filming good music videos for now.